Without wasting your time, we are going to share top 5 HP laptop. The product links are in the description and in first comment. The number 5 on the list is HP Pavilion Aero. HP Pavilion Aero, the HP Pavilion Aero is available at third-party retailers and via HP's website, opens in new tab or review, unit came outfitted with in display, all for just this laptop comes sin silver by default, but you can pay more to deck it out in HP's white, warm gold or pale rose gold color schemes. If you're interested in a cheaper model, check out the entry-level version, which drops you down to and meanwhile, you can get a beefed-up model for which pumps you up with the same CPU and RAM as our review unit, but swaps out the and increases the resolution of the display top pixels. the HP Pavilion Aero sleek and slim, but that's nothing compared to how it feels. This beauty comes in at a sweet pounds, making it feel like a mere paper, wait in my hands I watched the trailer for Marvel's Shanghai film, and I was impressed by how the Aero screen handled the contrast during night shots. In the touching scene between Sean and his father, the visuals were absolutely clear and vivid enough that in the dead of night, I could easily make out the creases in the face of the father. And when Sean is in the room with the water droplets floating around him, the clarity and crisp twinkle of the droplets were stunning, it may take some getting used to due to its small deck, but the arrow has one of the most comfortable keyboards I've ever tested. I managed only per minute on the calm typing test, which is below my per minute average despite that, the keys are clicky, punchy and well spaced. The only hurdle that you really have to get over is the small deck if you're used to how a 13-inch laptop feels then you'll be fine. If you're downsizing give it time, while the HP Pavilion Aero bottom firing Bang Olufsen speakers aren't very loud, they're decently balanced and I only noticed a few raspy notes in my time with this machine. I listened to Gales in the opening, vocals were melodic keeping pace with the bright guitar, but both were too soft and didn't provide enough oomph. Even during the chorus, the audio wasn't loud enough to encapsulate my small office. There wasn't a lot of bass, but the speakers worked with what they had, leaning into the treble with the percussion, while the HP Pavilion Aero features only an integrated AMD Radeon graphics chip, gaming isn't completely out of the question. The number 4 on the list is HP Envy. HP Envy, the HP Envy 13 enjoyed a long reign as the best laptop for under after we awarded the previous model a star rating back and dot I was eager to give the refreshed model a spin to see if it could retain its position despite growing competition in this space. Thankfully the Gen Intel CPU in this NV13 delivers faster performance and longer battery life than you'd expect from a sub-laptop. The highlight however given its excellent value, the Envy deserves a spot on our best 13-inch laptops and overall best laptops rankings, HP fully embraced this pale peach hue, which covers the lid, the deck, keyboard and touchpad. The only non-gold elements are a stylish chrome HP logo centered on the lid and small Envy and Bang Olufsen branding on the deck. This is a rare occasion where I'm glad HP didn't make too many changes to this design. As I mentioned in my review of the previous model, the NV13 is the most premium laptop you'll find at this sub point. That's because it shares features with its pricier sibling, the fancy patterned speaker, bar removed from the deck, but it was sacrificed to make the NV as small as possible to that end, the bezels surrounding the display were trimmed and the deck was compressed. Despite the thinner frame, the webcam remains above the display sadly, there is no camera. Dual speakers in that same triangular pattern are now found on the bottom of the laptop. Anything else taking up space on the deck, like the power button and fingerprint sensor, was moved to the keyboard. The number 3 on the list is HP Chromebook. HP Chromebook, when scouring the depths of the bargain laptop bin, you shouldn't expect much other than competent internet browsing and word processing abilities still, there's always a chance you might strike gold. The Dell Chromebook or the Lenovo Chromebook Duet are excellent examples of sub-laptops. Unfortunately, the HP Chromebook is not. This as tested 11-inch Chromebook, equipped in our test model with a touchscreen, is a usable laptop non-touch models start at, but only if you look past the cramped keyboard and balky touchpad, even premium Chromebooks rarely pack impressive computing components, and that's especially true when you're on a budget. The HP Chromebook comes equipped with just storage. Those are unacceptably low amounts of storage and RAM for a Windows PC, but they're par for the course for a budget Chromebook. 
In what is surely a cost-cutting decision, the HP Chromebook doesn't make use of an AMD or Intel processor, instead opting for a MediaTek processor MediaTek and other ARM-based chips are often found in low-end Chromebooks and typically perform slower than their Intel and AMD brethren. Here's how to choose the best laptop processor. The overall build of the machine is acceptable, though opening and closing the lid of the laptop doesn't exactly feel the smoothest pushing the laptop screen all the way back actually gives the machine a slight tilt, which is nice for those who can't stand the idea of typing on a flat keyboard. Underneath you'll find two rubber strips that do a good enough job at keeping your laptop stable and preventing any sliding around. The display and build quality are as good as you can reasonably expect for such a cheap machine, but the keyboard and trackpad are disappointing even by budget laptop standards. The keyboard feels cramped, but that's to be expected from such a small laptop. For the most part typing is fine though, the keycaps feel cheap to the touch. The number two on the list is HP Pro Chromebook. HP Pro Chromebook, the Chromebook family of laptop, and its Chrome OS, are perfect for cloud computing, but the HP Pro Chromebook also has a variety of processor options to suit different budgets and workloads. Some options are covered by the base price, but you can also choose from higher performance processors if you need one. Customize yours with up to an processor, which includes Intel Turbo Boost technology, in most configurations. The HP Pro offers a powerful graphics loadout for any entry-level laptop too. With Intel Iris graphics, it's not suited for gaming, but it can compete with many dedicated graphics cards for pure visual performance. You can maximize the graphics performance by configuring yours with an Intel Core processor or better and dual-channel memory. This will also increase the efficiency of your device's RAM. Chrome OS works a lot like other traditional operating systems, but its major advantage is its focus on cloud computing. By shifting more functionality online, Chromebooks are lighter, trimmer more efficient and more affordable compared to devices with loads of local hardware. Chrome OS devices support the same kinds of functionality you'd expect, too. You can enjoy office and social applications streaming gaming and more Google's Chrome OS also uses the Chrome browser as its primary interface, providing a convenient and simple way to access the services and applications you use most online. Chrome users can enjoy a slate of interesting, bespoke features there's early access to updates if you opt in, better low blue light management features, and robust built-in security among others plus, using a cloud-based storage solution dramatically reduces the likelihood of losing important files as a result of a damaged or lost device. When building your HP Pro, you can choose from display resolution and optional touchscreen functionality. Pick from touchscreen or standard displays, up to full high-definition resolution, as well as a knit display for greater comfort, working in bright environments. The LifeLat chassis also makes it easy to transform your Chromebook into a hub for group meetings. The number one on the list is HP Chromebook. The HP Chromebook comes equipped with just storage. Those are unacceptably low amounts of storage and RAM for a Windows PC but they're par for the course for a budget Chromebook. In what is surely a cost-cutting decision, the HP Chromebook doesn't make use of an AMD or Intel processor, instead opting for a MediaTek processor MediaTek and other ARM-based chips are often found in low-end Chromebooks and typically perform slower than their Intel and AMD brethren. Here's how to choose the best laptop processor. The overall build of the machine is acceptable, though opening and closing the lid of the laptop doesn't exactly feel the smoothest pushing the laptop screen all the way back actually gives the machine a slight tilt, which is nice for those who can't stand the idea of typing on a flat keyboard. Underneath you'll find two rubber strips that do a good enough job at keeping your laptop stable and preventing any sliding around. The display and build quality are as good as you can reasonably expect for such a cheap machine, but the keyboard and trackpad are disappointing even by budget laptop standards. The keyboard feels cramped, but that's to be expected from such a small laptop. Competent internet browsing and word processing abilities still, there's always a chance you might strike gold. The Dell Chromebook or the Lenovo Chromebook Duet are excellent examples of sub-laptops. Unfortunately, the HP Chromebook is not. This as tested 14-inch Chromebook, equipped in our test model with a touchscreen, is a usable laptop non-touch models start at, but only if you look past the cramped keyboard and bulky touchpad.